Hello everyone, this is Richard G, and today I'll show you how to defeat Misty's Gym and the Gym Challenges of Pokemon Tower Defense 2. So we're going to start out, we have these three Pokemon along with your trainer. Um, your trainer isn't going to have much, is going to be very important, but it's kind of stuck with this. As you can see, you can't relearn really anything, that's its ability, and its, a it's attack name is Fish Starmie, you'll see what that's for in a bit. Next up, we're going to look at Bulbasaur, we're going to keep Overgrow. There is nothing to relearn. For Charmander, we're going to keep Blaze. We will relearn Ember, and that will all we would need to do for that. And then finally, Pidgey. We'll keep Keen Eye, and you could relearn Sand Attack, but it's not needed. I will anyway, just to have it, but you don't need it. So these are the four we have set. Let's get started. Professor Oak will give you some tips, but I'm doing this video so that we don't really need that. Alright, so real quick, right away comes Starmie. The point is to use the fish Starmie, and it will put it in there. Once it's in there, you can start kind of whittling its HP down, but that's not all you need to do. There are other Pokemon to defeat as well, and that's these Staryus. So, Starmie's kind of the least of your worries right now. I will start Leech Seeding. Main thing is you start attacking them as much as possible. Try to knock down as many as you can with teamwork. Alright, that's more down. And the Leech Seed's coming in handy. Alright. Now, it's going to come to a point, though, where they might start coming through. And you got to be careful with that. If that happens, you are forced to Whirlwind, and that's actually something you're gonna have to do coming up. As this goes on, they keep coming, and they don't stop. So you're gonna want to keep attacking. Now, you could Gust or Tackle works. I'm going to use Tackle for the speed, because you should know that attacking quickly is a big help. Alright. Bulbasaur learned Vine Whip, and as soon as you have that, start using it, because it's going to come in a lot of handy. Alright. That start you will go down, and we have Smoke Screen, but we're not going to need that. Now we're going to start Whirlwinding. It's usually the last few that you need to Whirlwind. And then right away, the next group is going to come in, and as soon as that happens, switch... Switch Pidgey back to where it can attack better. So we'll switch it up here. And just keep attacking. The quicker you kill stuff, the better, though. Alright, that star you will go down. But the rest of them, we will need to Whirlwind again. It's So far, it's been three every time. Alright, once that's done, we can start switching back to here again. And I'll start putting Bulbasaur up here to try this out. And every now and then, if you want to, you can Leech Seed the Starmie. That does, never hurts anyone. Make sure your Pokémon are always in range to attack something. Alright, looks like we're going to have a few more going through this time. They come in faster. And pretty soon here, that Starmie is about to come into the battlefield as well. Right now. And this speeds up all the Staryu. And we are barely going to whirlwind that one. Alright, this one's going to be a lot faster, a lot harder to knock down. So we're going to need a Whirlwind that one quickly, and we're going to learn that. Perfect. Poison Powder, why not? We'll start using that in the Starmie, and then we'll Leech Seed it. We have it sent back, it's going to slowly take some damage. And it will gradually go down. Just 
get everything within range to attack. And once that star used down, you win. We'll move this over here again, and there we go. All right, so once you defeat Misty, you'll be giving some special Squirtle that I hold the Blastoise Knight. And that is Misty's Gym.